In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Matthew chapter 7, starting at verse 12. Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name? And done many wonders in your name. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you practice lawlessness. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it did not fall for it was founded on the rock but everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it fell and great was its fall so this is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. So just having a belief in Jesus Christ is not enough. Even the demons believe. But coming to the Orthodox Church and getting baptized in chrismated Orthodox and living in the Orthodox Church is the narrow way. Because you have to be accountable. You have to submit yourself to the authorities of the church. As it's written in First and Second Timothy, there were episcopos, bishops, uh, there were priests, presbyteros, uh, deacons. So when you come into the church, baptizing chrismated orthodox, you live a life receiving the Holy Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ. Jesus said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. That is no eternal life. He said, my flesh is food indeed, my blood is drink indeed. And whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood, I will live in him and he will live in me. And so bread and wine is offered in the divine liturgy of the Orthodox Church as it has been for 2,021 years. And all who are baptized in chrismated Orthodox Christians receive Christ's body and blood. That bread and wine is changed by the Holy Spirit. This is not a Roman Catholic Church teaching of, of any kind of faith or belief of Roman Catholicism, such as transubstantiation or anything like that. In the Orthodox Church, it is a mystery, but it is something that we know is done by God himself. So you can't just say you're a Christian, believe in God, and be by yourself. It is not biblically correct. It is not historically correct. There's nothing correct about your way of belief or faith. Find the Orthodox Church on the old calendar get baptized in chrismated orthodox by an orthodox priest and stay in the orthodox church to your last breath in the name of the father son and the holy spirit amen